Ah, another one of my little remembrances. I've been here three times. Fallon, Nevada. Molly, you'll get a kick out of this one. Back in the 70s, Alex Haley did a um, movie called Roots. It dealt with slavery and uh, Kinte Kinte or Kinta Kinto was the first one that came over from Africa on a slave ship and he was sold to a plantation and his son and then his son and then his son and, and it uh, they brought it all the way up to the 1970s with uh, Alex Haley doing a thing of all of his ancestors all the way back to um, Kinte Kinte who, uh, like I said, rolled over on one of those slave ships. Well, that kind of sparked me. I went to the library and for about, oh, four or five months I was doing uh, ancestry, uh, you know, just stuff dealing with ancestors. Well, back in the late 1700s, this guy called uh, Zachary Taylor went west. Now, that was it. That was all that was said. Zachary Taylor went west. Well, anyways, I'm out in uh, Fallon, Nevada. First time out there, I didn't go anywhere, really. Did make a trip out to Sand Mountain, wandered around that. Didn't really see much, you know. Well, between the uh, first and second time, I was out in Fallon. The um, archaeologists actually found the uh, Pony Express station just a few hundred feet from Sand Mountain. And they found a couple of uh, six shooters and some rounds and broken arrows. And you know, they uh, did a thing where uh, that was the uh, station that was massacred by the Indians where the Pony Express rider had to go bypass that one and go to the next one which was about 10 miles down the road and uh, they found that one too and they put a fence around it to keep the uh, Mustangs from uh, destroying any more that particular one well, anyways, my third visit was during my last two years that I was down in uh, with the Ducks, and uh, I decided to go out there. And uh, because I was in charge of the orders dealing with the debt, I gave myself orders that I could get a rent a car. <laughs> Well, I got a Ford Taurus rent a car. Took uh, quite a few guys that never been out to Fallon, both on day shift and night shift. Yeah, we went out sightseeing. Well, came across this place called Bodo, B O D O, California. And. Uh, Come to find out, it was a, uh, well, th at that time, it was a gold mine. Millions and millions of dollars of gold was taken out of the hills. But uh, walking through the uh, graveyard, I came across this old wooden tombstone that had Zachary Taylor on it. 1799 or something like that which was uh, wow, because it matched what I did uh, 20 years earlier with uh, that Alex Haley thing. But anyways, here, here's something that you'll get a kick out of, Molly. Sure, I was 40 when I went out there. Now we had this uh, young jock, he was 19. And uh, he was a runner like me, but he wasn't a runner. 
Yeah, I'm sure he ran. But he wasn't in it for uh, distance. His heart wasn't really in the running like mine was. So anyhow, we're sitting there. We, we just got out there to Sand Mountain. And uh, he said that the last one to the top is a rotten dog. You know, so we, we made a bet. I bet him that I could hit, get to the top a good three minutes before he does. Well, <laughs> like a fool, he made that bet. So, we started out. Sure enough, I made it to the top of Sand Mountain. And four and a half minutes later, <laughs> he made it to the top. He just could not run on sand. Anyhow, Sand Mountain is unique. Because uh, back when uh, that whole area was underwater, it used to be part of the uh, Atlantic Ocean. And uh, apparently it was deep. Deep enough for whales because they found whale bones throughout that area. But anyways, when uh, when it rescinded and uh, wind would blow all the sand from the ocean, it deposited it right there at Sand Mountain. Well, Fallon, Nevada, back in the 1800s, was robbed. They had bank robbers. And the bank robbers were chased to this one rock formation out in the middle of the desert, about a mile from Sand Mountain. And uh, they ended up killing uh, four bank robbers, but they never retrieved the money. So as the story goes, the uh, people would wander around that place and dig in the uh, caves or the cracks and all this stuff trying to find the money from Fallon. Well, back in the uh, 40s, these two little boys were out there and uh, they ended up going in this one crack. They widened it to where they actually went in and it turned out to be a cave and the cave had artifacts in it. Well, they brought out a couple of the artifacts and they took them to town and archaeologists went out there. And now the place is sealed off. They excavated half of it and uh, you can actually take a tour. They go out there twice a week to this excavation and I tell you, it is uh, you sight to see because the Indians back when uh, the place was underwater they brought out the way the Indians lived and their weapons and arrowheads and how they lived back in uh, uh, prehistoric days of human existence there in California so anyway I just thought I'd throw that out just for GP. Anyways, the car ended up having to turn it in because I went four wheeling with it, bent the frame like this. And I got on top of the hill and the damn frame bent on it. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was kind of neat. But we toured around, we went down to Virginia City and made two trips to Bodo. One on days and one on nights. One on nights we got chased out of there by the, um, uh, what do you call them? Not the cops, but the um, people in charge of historical places. Yep, apparently that place is off limits now but it throws you back. There was a food table and there were bottles and uh, a couple wagons with uh, sleds on it because of the 
snow and it was a quite interesting place. There must have been about eight or ten buildings. So anyway, just thought I'd throw that out. Should have told you about it, Molly, when you were out there. Told you about Sand Mountain. And I think I told you about the archaeologists. Fine too, but I didn't tell you about Bodo. So, anyhow, I'm looking at uh, 10 minutes and 45 seconds. That's where I'm going to cut this thing off. Yeah, well, how about 40 seconds, right? No.